Today we're at our local fossil dig and we're finding leaves that got trapped in the soil a long time ago and left impressions in what is now rock. It's pretty fun to separate all the layers of rock using a butter knife and seeing what we discover inside. Like the bigger piece you can get here, the more likely you are to find something. Come here. Come here, help me I found a leaf fossil, see? Ooh, that's really cool. Wow, there's a leaf in this rock, Kira. See all the veins in it? Yeah. Here's the stem going down the middle. Okay, leave these ones here, Joshua. You can set yours on there nicely. Mama, look what I found. What did you find? It's a leaf fossil. Wow, we're finding so many cool leaves. It's a leaf fossil in this piece of dirt. Let's see the tiny little veins in there. I'm separating layers of rocks to find fossils. It's fun. We found a couple so far. You can see the leaves a lot better in different types of rock. So after we got back from the fossil dig, I did a little creative activity with our kids just to show them a little bit about how fossils are made. We took a cookie sheet and layered it with some dirt and put leaves in between the layers of dirt and then scattered some rocks on top just to show how leaves fall into the sediment and then over time become buried. And then over many, many years, the dirt hardens into rock and then the leaves break down, leaving behind impressions in the rock called fossils. Okay, so now that we have a layer of dirt and some leaves, now I want you to evenly spread a layer of sand on top of the dirt. Now we're putting sand on top of the leaves. That's on top of the dirt. So I wanted to do this creative activity so my kids could visualize how some of the fossils that they found at the fossil dig were made. So kids, we buried some leaves under the soil so that over time, that soil will harden and turn into rock. And then the leaves will break down and leave a mark in the rock called a fossil. And this is kind of like what the ground would look like as rocks are scattered on it and the little leaves fall on it over time. But no one would guess that there's fossils of leaves buried underneath. This activity is pretty simple. All you need is a cookie sheet and some dirt. And in my case, I had two different types of both dirt and sand and some leaves to hide inside the layers of dirt and some rocks to scatter on top.
This activity allows kids to see how fossils could be formed and also allows them to get their hands dirty with hiding leaves under layers of dirt. For our family, activities like this make our homeschool schedule a lot more fun. For more creative ideas, visit createplaytravel.com.